All right, we are live. Oh, and I got a phone call. Hmm. I can't answer that, huh? Well, sorry, it's going to have to wait. What's up, everybody? <laughs> sorry, let me let me just... Uh, it's not my mom. Do, 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 do. Come on. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for checking out the channel. First of all, <clears throat> could you leave me a one in the chat if I sound okay? I need to make sure that my audio volume is not too low or too high. Uh, new microphone, still getting everything set up. But uh, how's it going here on this Wednesday night? Zero, zero in the chat. <laughs> that must mean it really sucks. All right, good. Good to hear that everything sounds okay. Hopefully we don't run into too many audio issues tonight um, or camera issues. And uh, welcome back to the channel. It's a Wednesday night stream for the dude. And uh, we're going to do something different. You know, I've uh, I've been a little bit, you know, under the weather or whatever. And I think, uh, I think it would be kind of fun to, to go on to wish.com and see if we can find anything unique for ham radio that's not way overpriced and uh, if you saw the thumbnail you'll see i found something on wish this morning that was like 465 dollars for a yesu ft7 dd <laughs> so i don't think that we have too much or we're not gonna have much luck but hey why not and of course pinned to the chat here is a link to our discord if you're not a member of the discord you could join it and then in the coffee and ham radios channel post any links to the uh, wish.com stuff you find that might be useful for ham radio we'll take a look at it and uh, we'll see what we could do here by the end of the episode uh, let me just check it now make sure there's nobody in there looks like we're uh, we're good so um, yeah well before we get started what else we got going on some housekeeping right so uh, thanks all for being here let's see we've got 22 people watching we'll we'll let it rack up here a little bit we got an hour, and other than that, uh, just just chilling. So let's see here. New lights, that's a good question. There are some new lights going on here. They do some crazy things during some crazy times. I just, I don't know why they do it, but they, they go crazy sometimes. Uh, maybe you'll see. What's going on, Shaq and Greg? What's going on, Ron? And, um, yeah. Yeah. What are we looking for on wish.com today? And you guys let me know in the chat. What are, what are y'all looking for? I'm drinking my coffee. You could probably actually hear, because it's a very directional microphone, you could probably hear me drinking my coffee, which is kind of weird. I'm going to mute it. Well, I already looked for the Zygu 6100, and I, I'm afraid to tell you that it doesn't exist. I will show you something I'm working on that I think is kind of cool, and yeah, it, it still needs some work. I'm in the process of redesigning some parts. Basically, okay, I got this wheel, and I'm going to make this wheel wider, <clears throat> and what happens is there's a spool of cable, the cable here, and it won't be on there, but there's a spool of cable here, and it goes under and around, and then it goes over here. And every time this clicks, there's a, uh, a rotary encoder on here. And what the rotary encoder does is every time it clicks, it's a certain length of wire, the calculation will tell me. So as I pull it, I should be able to tell how much wire I've pulled out, for example, 30 feet or 40 feet. And uh, I think that would be kind of cool. So working on designing some some parts for it some 3d printed parts you know um here's here's just like a little spindle and then inside we have you know this little hex six point piece that'll hold the spindle and then it'll spin freely you know all the while every time it spins the wheel here rotates with the wire on there and it clicks the bluetooth I was working on a project with Bluetooth and I was trying to get these HC06 
Bluetooth modules with Arduino to uh, be able to program with Chirp for like your Baofeng or, or Yezu. And unfortunately, the HC06 isn't the right module, I don't think. So I got to figure out what the right module would be, and we'll continue to figure that one out instead of buying that Teed radio uh, uh, Bluetooth module. Their, their uh, app, <laughs> the app on uh, Tide Radio, it's called like OD Master or something along those lines. And it is a weird app because it is a programming app for your Baofeng via Bluetooth. But then there's like a whole other aspect of the app, which to me it seems like a honeypot or a way to get your information. Uh, because not only is it a Bluetooth programming app, but also a social media app like Facebook. So once you sign up so you could use your Bluetooth, uh, you're then signed up for their weird social media app page. It's kind of the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I almost did a whole episode on it. Like what is going on over there at uh, Tide Radio or TV Radio or whatever it is? And and then T.O. says, it sucks. So welcome, everybody. Hey, Wild Cascadia. Glad to see you, too. Thanks for being here. Yeah, if you guys want to, we could have a competition. who could find the highest wattage uh, HT on Wish. Uh, it's going to be a UV-10R. I'm going to give you that clue. But like I said, post links in the, in the Discord. And if you're a mod, you can post links in the chat. We'll take a look at those. Uh, let's jump into things here. Well, let me get some shout outs here first. Got 27 watching. Kind of kind of low numbers, but I recognize that people don't <clears throat> know that I'm streaming much anymore, especially because I was sick for a while. But uh, so with it, these shout outs should be pretty quick. What's going on temporary offline? What's going on on Lucky Ham? What's going on, Ron? What's going on, Tim Keller? Yeah, he says, get some 11 meter gear from Wish. And I think we will look at that. Uh, what's going on, Wild Cascadia Radio? John Hummel Newell. What's going on, Andy? What's going on, Joseph? Uh, who else did I see in here earlier? I saw Adam in there. What's up, bud? Uh, Tim Keller. What's going on, Ron? Shaq and Greg. And Spotter. What's going on? WA7PBE. Thanks for being here. The Smoking Ape. Mike, WZ9Z. And Uber Geek 318 What's going on, man? And Amateur Radio on the Air, John. And there was, uh, let's see, Lon is here as well. Welcome, Lon. Got the Unlucky Ham. Mike, what's up, bud? And uh, let's see if I forgot any 45 auto, 45 auto. Pick me, pick me. You are picked. What's going on, Nick? Nick Gavin. It's good to see you, man. Thanks for being here. And uh, Ghostman DKA. It's good to see you too, buddy. What's up? And uh, Steve, welcome, Steve. Let's see what we got going on here on The Wish. All right. So this is wish.com and uh, we actually already have one person who sent me a link to something so let's take it here and see what it is it's not ham radio it's not a hobby it's an obsession <laughs> oh it's sold out it's sold out i like how it's um I don't know if you guys could tell. Maybe it's just me. Also, let me know if the, the screen is too small, and I'll, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. But to me, it seems like it's crooked. Like, like, <laughs> like even though this is copy and pasted on there, and it's not an actual mug, they just took a photo of a blank mug and put the text on there, it looks like it's crooked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that one's um, unfortunately. Let's see what's going on here. All right, but that was sent in by Dan. Thanks a lot, Dan. Good to see you here tonight as well. So we got ham radio. Um, that's what we're searching for right now. Very basic and broad terms. Now, let's let's be real. Here's a 3,600-watt Baofeng UV-10R. Uh, I am glad to know that they have power correctly spelled now, whereas back when these were $50, there was no uh, power was spelled wrong. <laughs> so larger power is now right. 3,000 kilometers. Yeah, well, we've already had that one before. We know how that one worked. <laughs> Actually, that's my highest uh, highest viewed video, too. Yeah, 
ham radio operators do it with more frequency. I got to see how big this sign is. Does it say 12 by 8? It's a little small for me. I want something like 4 feet by like <laughs> by a foot or something like that. Ham radio operators do it with frequency. Yeah, I'm good on that one. Greater power. You know, there is something I do want to look for here, but we'll, uh, I'll keep it, I'll try to keep that in mind. This looks like a Baofeng. I, no, it looks like the UV9R. It is. Okay. Well, I got that one. So that one's out of the question. I'm trying to find like that rare thing that I just didn't know existed yet. Um, is that a, yeah. Here we go. What's this? I think I bought one of these last year. Mm. Give me just a second here. All right, let me add that to the cart. And then at the end of the episode, we'll see everything that I got in the cart or something along those lines. But uh, I'll actually click on that and I'll explain to you guys what it is too. Uh, so this is a CW QRP transmitter. Uh, it's a pixie. And it, what you're going to notice here, I fortunately have crystals to change this, but the frequency of the crystal, I think, is 7.02. I think it's 2.5 um, or 2.3. But regardless, I won't be able to transmit as it is because I'm, I'm not an extra. Uh, I could build the kit and then I have to replace the, the crystal. No problem there. But for six dollars, that's about what the kits go for. I think I think I got mine for ten dollars on Amazon last year. What's going on? Let's see what we got in the chat here. Just get an image, blow it up, and take a vinyl printer and throw flexible solar panel <laughs> panels on it. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's buy some coax off of Wish. I agree with Don. We'll find some coax here in just a bit. We can see how great a quality it is. Of course, we're gonna stay away from the VNA. We already know how that's gonna work out. Um Here's something funny I want to show you. So right here, you got this UV5R BF888S, and you see it says $29. And so you're thinking, well, probably $29 for the uh, for the UV5R. No, it's $29 for the 888S, which is like a, what, a $12 max radio? Uh, <laughs> so I guess my point is, is you got to be careful on Wish because they sometimes do the bait and switch. Where you think you're getting, uh, you think you're going to get a UV5R, and even then, that's a little high for UV5R. Not horrible, but uh, they're going to sell you an 888S for for twenty nine dollars plus shipping. Da, uh, Ape says, "Get that VNA." Um, well, do do I really need this VNA? I got one over there. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this, this looks like the one I got already. I don't think it is for two, though, Dan. Let's go back to that. You see, it says, uh, well, one of two pieces, UV5R BF888S. And uh, I'm, it doesn't really say. <laughs> this one shows three. <laughs> But if we look down in the photos here, now they show the B, the 888S. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's only one radio. Oh, two pieces. Yeah, but even, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, it totally makes kind of sense. Still expensive in my opinion. I would think that they'd be like no more than 20 bucks for two of them. Unless the price of 888S has went up in the last, like, I don't know, year. Oh, ham radio parking. All right, guys, we need to find me like a good shirt or, or, or a sign or something like that. Let me get rid of this. Uh, here we go. 1621 ham radio parking. A fun novelty sign. I, I You know, I, I feel like there's better things to waste my money on. What do you guys think? <laughs> hmm. We could look at the we could look at the reviews. Oh, yep. I clicked related and look this. May the Morris be with you. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, you get a two pack of 
NA771 antennas in Nagoya, but they don't say Nagoya, do they? Well, this one, <laughs> that's like diamond packaging, right? That one says Nagoya. We know they're going to be fake, obviously. But the reason I want to buy these is I bought one Red of this uh, 771 antenna at a ham fest and it was seven bucks and it actually worked good. I got a 90, 90 mile contact on it when I was on a summit. Um, so let's add, let's add the two pack to it. And uh, that's in the cart. And what else guys? Let's see here. In the back of sweatpants. Get the ham radio <laughs> sign and stick it up at a park. That's like almost a whole episode right there. Others will be banned from the airways. I'm tempted to do it, Don. Can I get rid of this cart thing right here? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, uh, you know, about a year ago there was an 890. What is this one? I don't, I don't recognize that one. We, uh, we might have to get this one. A UVX9 plus tri-power, two-way radio, walkie-talkie, black, green. Let's see if green is any more money. It's not. Should I get green? I'm going to get green. Okay, so let's let's see what it says here. 10 watts, 2,800 milliamp hours, which, oh, that's camel. I think Ape wanted a camel radio. Um, Ape, you got a camel. This doesn't even look like any Baofeng I've ever seen, probably because it's not. <laughs> Let's look at the reviews. I think somebody mentioned that earlier. Okay, so dual band, dual display, dual standby, 120 uh, channels. The typical Baofeng features right there. Let's see here. Um, there's no reviews for this product yet either. May we be the first? <laughs> All right, let me take a break here real quick. I don't want to blow all my money in, in one sitting here. So, All right. Surprisingly, there's no reviews, but I've never seen a UVX9 before. I think it would be pretty fun to, to kind of play with that. What's going on? Uh, what's going on? FEP Labs Radio, saw you in there. And uh, welcome, Chuck, UV82. We'll check out here in just a second. And... Uh, Get the ham radio parking sign. I think that's a good idea. Let me check the Discord, see if anybody's posted any links. Dan posted another link. Let's see what he's got. Uh, yeah, so Dan, I actually did see this earlier. I'll bring it over here in just a second. Um, but I did a little research, and you know, that's one of the things. Like, if I go on Amazon, I think it's a hundred dollars cheaper. Let me show you all what we're talking about so you're not like left in the cold here. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. I got to get better with this. I should have used my stream deck. Anyway, 10 watt USDX plus QRP SDR, eight bands, five watts. But the problem is, is like you can go to Amazon and it's, it's a lot cheaper. Let me see what it is at Amazon real quick. Yeah, it's a... Uh, well, shoot, AliExpress has it for 48 bucks. We're going on AliExpress in a little bit. Uh, but um, $169 at Banggood. Uh, eBay has them for $125. Uh, is that the same one? That's not the plus. Mm -mm -mm -mm. None of these are the plus. Yeah, $169 are the plus. I mean, so again, you can't really find a good deal on Wish, in my opinion. Christopher wants to know what the difference between eBay, Etsy, Wish, and Amazon are. Uh, and that's a good question. Let me uh, jump back over to my screen real quick. Well, so here's the deal. Um, we'll start with Amazon. Amazon Amazon works like this. It's a uh, you have these sellers, and these sellers, uh, they, they pay to be on Amazon every month, a certain fee. And they send their products to Amazon, and Amazon has a warehouse where they hold the products. And then, you know, we as end users go on and we buy stuff, and Amazon fulfills those orders from the things that you've sent in. Um, kind of like drop shipping in a way, but, but not really. Um, so Amazon tends to be 
mainly new stuff. It's not always new stuff. There is some used stuff on there as well. Uh, eBay, eBay is an auction website, and so for example, you could you could as a as a, a private uh, sale, uh, I can go on there and I can list something on eBay, and I could say that there's a two day, three day, four day, five day auction, and during that time, people are bidding up the price to what they think is fair. But there's also like a buy it now option, which you could say I have a hundred of these items, and uh, and I want to sell them for for sixty dollars each, and then people could just hit buy it now. So eBay is an auction site that also has like a buy it now feature. The eBay used to be a lot better, and it used to be more geared toward a lot of the uh, private sales or individual sales. But over time, I think we're just starting to see a lot more cheap or inexpensive Chinese uh, garbage coming in. Um, and I don't mean that in a, in a, in a rude way or anything like that, but there is a lot of garbage on eBay. That's just like, Oh, great. You know, the same stuff we see everywhere else. Then there's Etsy and Etsy is more of Etsy's more individual based. And, and basically you could do things like sell, uh, you could sell used clothes. You could sell, uh, my buddy sells cactus, cacti, cacti. Uh, you could, you could sell your stickers, uh, you could sell your ham radio kits, but it's mainly based for like an independent, uh, entrepreneur, if you will. And then finally, uh, wish.com is just, it's a San Francisco based company, but everything comes from China. So people in China are selling things on a marketplace, which I, I assume is probably pretty similar to amazon.com. Um, yeah, but it and it takes a really long time on wish.com to get things. And there's a couple other sites too, um, like liexpress.com and Banggood, which I think we'll probably look at in the future. I, I would be willing to bet you could probably find better deals on Banggood and uh, LIexpress as opposed to Wish. Let me see here. If I recall, they have hack RF units. I'll be right back. Yeah, I got a problem. That's another problem is trying to find things that I don't already have. <laughs> uh, all bow things are fake. Let's see here. What's going on, Gaming Ham? And uh, Dan sent me a couple more. I'll check them out here in just a second. And uh, let's see here. San Francisco is now a China-based company. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't me who said that. That was in the chat. Uh, but uh, let's see. Let's go back over to Wish real quick here. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to say no on that. And, but uh, let's take a look. I saw something here that triggered my interest uh, a second ago, and I lost it. Looks like just a bunch of cheap outfangs. We got to find something else to search for here. Um, I did see this earlier, and I'm actually really excited about this fiberglass pole. And sorry that the the shopping cart is just taking up half the screen there. But. Now I won't be able to find it, you know. All right, I'll check those links out in just a second. So we have a soy sao gei lang uh, pole here. Let's see, 3.6 meters. It doesn't go up to seven. I would want a minimum of a seven meter pole. So that one's out. Um, Let's see here. Is that how you spell good? Oh, no, there it is. And now I can't find it again. There we go. Check that one out. Good tour. Well, that's not what I want. Yeah, there we go. So 
I you only have the red ones available. I don't know what the difference is between the red and the gold. So I think it has to do with the strength. Um, but a 7.2 meter red Fox uh, Gutor pole is only $27. And I think I paid $39 through Amazon. Um, what do you guys think? Do I have a do I have a use for another pole? I guess I could get the red one and see what it's all about, but I think there's a cheaper one. Let me look at my phone real quick. And I say that because I, I might have bookmarked it. Let's see here. While I'm doing that, let me go ahead and pull up some of these links that Don just sent me. And uh, oh, and uh, let's see here, Don. Oh, yeah, Don, what do you got here? Let's pull up this one. All right, what is this? A 12.6 volt lithium ion battery at 18650 charger BMS PC protection board. Sure. Let's buy it. So I'm I'm going to I'm going to buy this here. Let's take a look at it again though. Well, I don't want you guys to see my credit card information. Um, let's go back to that real quick though. I'm sure that this is completely <clears throat> safe. But with it, I think there was a couple hard things that Don wanted me to see. Uh, so, I mean, I'm all about batteries, right? 18650s. Um, this is an image of three panels put together. The battery box does not contain the batteries. If you need batteries, please buy them from our store. Mm. Is this safe, Don? <laughs> Oh, let me go back there real quick. That was without the BMS because I got the BMS and the other one. Okay, cool. And then finally, let's take a look here what you got. Now we need to find the, the really crazy 18650 batteries, the ones that say they're like a billion milliamp hours. Um, I do want to look at power supplies. I do have a couple of these power supplies, but for $12, 24 volts, 2 amps, we would need, uh, see, you know, 30 amps, but that's 5 volts. I don't think they have anything that would suit me. Uh, 12 volts, 16 amp would be the highest. Uh, let me pull up the chat here real quick. Let's see. feel like there's a better deal on those poles. Um, so let me uh, jump over to Dan real quick. I think I'm going to pass on the power supply, but the BMS thing is cool. We need to find batteries. Um, and then Dan found me a radio. Yes, yes, this one I've been wanting for a while, Dan. Uh, but it's AliExpress. Uh, I, I don't have an AliExpress account yet. Um, however, I will remember that for, for the AliExpress stream. That's bound to come up, I'm sure. Let's take a look here and see if we can find some BMS battery. What is this? Is this a LiPo? Oh, <laughs> no, it's lithium ion battery, 9,800 milliamp. We need BM, uh, We need 18650 batteries. All right, 30,000 milliamp batteries. Uh, surely they're talking. <laughs> Come on, guys. This isn't legit. <laughs> uh, come on. You guys got to be kidding me. The fact that uh, <laughs> I I'm not a smart man. I'll be the first to admit it. There's no way each one of those is 30,000 milliamps, 30 amp hours of battery. <laughs> Do we order it just to see what they're uh... – Do we order it just to see what we get? Six of them cost twenty six dollars. Maybe maybe we just order one. What do you guys think? <laughs> Probably as a triple A inside. <laughs> Seahorn's right, man. They can't say it on the internet if it's not true. <laughs> All right, so here's the question, guys. Do I do I purchase one or two? I don't know that I want to purchase many more than two. 
being as <laughs> they're they're not 30. Let's look at the reviews. That's that's a good good point there. There's no reviews again. <laughs> You want to know why there's no reviews? Because nobody would be this stupid. Uh, yeah, uh, hook me up with that link. 24 feet of fiberglass poles for 10 bucks. Um, all right, I'm going to go with... It's a good question what shipping is on the batteries. Uh, $3. So it's going to be $15 to uh, to buy these. But I, I feel... I feel like I can make a video out of it, so it might be it might be all right. But but with that, maybe we need to find legit batteries. <laughs> Y'all, let me know if any of these look legit to you. Twenty thousand milliamp hours, fifty thousand milliamp hours. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. I was gonna get a mere thirty thousand milliamp hours, and I can get two of them for the same price and get fifty thousand milliamp hours. Boom, added to the cart. You just got to remember to take the other ones out of the cart. And uh, you know what? We'll worry about that in just a bit. I'll get them in September. That's right. Uh, by the way, the, the plan on the stream here is to... Uh, the plan on the stream is to wait for all the items to arrive and then unbox them all at the same time. It might be kind of fun. And uh, let's see what else we got. We need a... We need a flashlight. But what we really need is we need to get back to that pole thing because uh, I'm seeing that there's... I'm seeing that there's... Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Is it still in my cart? Yes, it is. Okay, so let me see if I can search this. If that results in anything, not really. Whew. Is this it? Look at that. Let's go. What's standard versus upgrade? Twelve dollars. Oh, that's two point seven. Come on. Nineteen dollars for for seven point two meters, or nineteen dollars for the upgraded. You know, I this is one of those things where I feel like I have to do it. I have to at least get this pole and see if it'll work for. This looks just like the Gutor pole. Let's be realistic, right? <clears throat> so. You guys might be wondering, I see animes kind of questioning it. Um, what I do is uh, I take a spike into the ground, thanks to Chuck. And basically, it's a tent spike that's in a PVC tube, and it's glued in there. And I, I dig that into the ground, and it, and it holds up that PVC tube like this. And I unscrew the end of the fiberglass pole. And after I extend it, and I put it in there, and then we could run our end fed halfway down there. So it's kind of like a portable. It's not as small as a carbon six or anything like that from soda beams, but uh, it works. So I'm actually kind of really excited about this fiber. It says it's a carbon fiber pole at that too. It's not even fiberglass. So, and uh, Mike agrees, man. He buys all the finest ham radio equipment from wish.com. Mike, are you looking for any ham radio gear off of wish? I, I, I owe you one buddy. Uh what about life pole four? Uh, oh wait, you guys need to see the screen that I'm seeing. Sorry about that. Hey Rhea, how's it going? Somebody said, hey, Rhea. I see Rosa. What's up, Rosa? How are you? Click related to bring up items with the same price. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll give that a shot here. In fact, I wonder if I can go back into here. Did my poll not make it in the cart? <laughs> Stand by. I got to go back to my poll. Oh, not this again. 
So Rosa says that if I go to related, I should get similar items, and I kind of do. Look at that, seven bucks. Let's go. Oh, it only goes up to three meters, though. <sighs> I, I've, I almost feel like I have to buy a LIFO 4 from Wish. Okay, that's only three meters, but maybe we'll find another one here. That's $12. That's the one that we had, $17. I actually think hey, we can get a poll. I'm, I'm not sure what this poll is for here, but uh, we can get a poll. Look at that. Only one meter, though. What is this? Wait a minute. We need to look for Laura stuff, all. Um, let me just check the uh, links here. Don's been sending me stuff. My apologies, Don. Um, Don, I will start pulling all that stuff up here in just a second. Uh, but Don's the man. So, like, let's see. I call it Laura. Laura. Let's see if there's any Laura stuff real quick. This is what's on the Morserino. Um, Don is the guy to ask right now. Don, will this work for uh, for Laura? I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't, but I don't want to buy something that's not going to work. Let's see here. Need the 920 version to be legal. Thank you, Don. Appreciate it. Dang. I hear the Raspberry Pis are like a... Uh, you could retire now if you have a bunch of them. By the way, I have some Raspberry Pis for sale. So what is this one right here? That's the wireless module, Wi-Fi module. 433 megahertz, 860. Here we go, 915, 34 bucks. What do you say, Don? We got guys, we got to get Don's approval on this here. Give me a one in the chat if you guys think I should do it. And uh, we'll we'll take a break here. Don says yes, it's I'm going in the cart. 915 megahertz, $34. I'm going Laura crazy. Now, now I'm gonna have to reach out Don and be like, how do you use this? Uh Don's got a bunch of links here. Let me pull up a couple of them. And what time we got here? We got about 23 minutes left. We're doing good. Don't forget tonight is uh Ham Nation. So Don's pulling up a bunch of good stuff here. I saw metal detector, wire cutters. Let me uh, let me get back to all that in just a second. We need heckin' one. It's added to the cart. That's right, heckin' one. Uh, can I shop on Wish without a login? You can't because they want your information, and they will spam you to all heck. Don will be on car on Sunday. On Saturday, we have Alan B. A Alan? Alan B., who was going to be talking about uh, how ham radio has changed here in the last uh, 20, 30 years because he's been a radio operator for quite a while, an engineer, and he makes some pretty cool stuff. Hey, welcome, K0MRD. Now there's K8MRD and K0MRD in here. Let's find some coax, guys. Uh, let's see if we can find some high-quality coaxial cable to review. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I bet you we won't be able to find any kind of, uh, let's see, ham radio coax, maybe? Probably, oh yeah, there it is. That's some high quality RG58 right there, huh? I do need some connectors. I need some SO239s. I need some all that good stuff. So, um, Let's see what the reviews are on this there. Really, really good cable. Excellent, good quality, and even tuned, and that is the best part. Hmm. 
how can I leave a comment when it is not received? And he gave it three stars. <laughs> Great for my bass station. I don't know. How many feet is this? 50 feet for 22 bucks. Good for CB. I don't got no CB. Let's see. Uh, click related on the coax. Yes, sir. Um, I've used these style PL two fifty nines before. I guess we'll we'll give them a shot. How about that? I want to go back to that? Let me go back to that. No, dude, honey has found ten coupons, guys. They look like quality connectors. Well, we're gonna see about that. Um, I do need. Let's go back to here again and go to related. Let's see. I have this an this antenna ready. I did a whole thing on this one. This is like a fake and not even functional. The one I got was not even functional. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat. So if you all see something, let me know. Get some LMR 400. Let me see if there's LMR 400. I'll do it. No. Well, no. <laughs> Somebody do the math on that, man. Are you serious? Uh, what is LMR 400 normally a foot? I don't think that this should be much over, if not less than 100 bucks, right? Hey, Rod, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Uh, I do need pigtails. I do need pigtails. I need some BNC coax Let's see if we can find some bnc coax bnc coax i need a power supply we need a power supply and uh how can you say no to these things <laughs> no Yep, and Don's right for that price. You get messy and polony. All right, RG174. Am I going to find anything here? Would you settle for RG316, Joseph? <laughs> That's 568 a foot for that LMR 400. I don't need that. Nope, RG6, my bad. Yeah, well, I'm done with this one. Let's look at this power supply here. Ham radio power supply. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, TO. I'd rather have the binding post adapters as opposed to those little breakouts. Um, what is this? Is this an SWR meter? Ah, it's only up to 60 megahertz. 
I think you guys, I think somebody has, who has one of these? Do they have the binding pulse connectors like from Apes video? I got about a hundred of those, but let's let's find out here in just a second. Look at this. Boom. Oh boy. 7.5 to 15.8 volt digital car radio power supply. CB radio CB ham radio transceiver base station. One star, but it doesn't say why. Um I would assume that it's 30 amps because it says DWC 30 win. Uh, let's see here. Output current 30 amps, 20 amp continuous. Ooh. Do I do it? Do I do it? This is what we need to know is do I do it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, we need to find a kit, too. We need to find a kit. Oh, we'll take a look at that in a second here. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to just add it to the cart right now. doesn't mean I have to buy it, right? And then the kit. He said there was a kit. Oh, that's a pixie kit. I already got one of those in the cart. However, I don't wonder if there's an antenna tuner kit. <laughs> Lee says, big no on the power supply. <laughs> oh, it is for 220. You're right, bud. Yep, I got I to gotta take that out of the cart. Let's not forget that. Uh, let's see here. So there is this uh, LED VSWR do-it-yourself manual antenna tuner kit for ham radio for QRP. It actually looks like it would be a fun kit. I'm not expecting much out of it, but uh, let me go back over there and you guys can take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Power poles. We need power poles. You're right. So here's the kit. It looks like it's two BNCs. Sorry for the images changing there. There's a toroid and looks like we're going to wind it and there's going to be a variable or a couple of, of ways to, to tune it here. So uh, you know, I I let's let's put that in the cart. Uh doesn't mean again we have to buy it, but <clears throat> I do want to see. I do want to see if there's any reviews here. Nope. I got to say, though, it says that I should get it around the 15th to the 29th. $9 shipping. Buy the banjo. Where's the banjo? Did I miss a banjo? Hold on. Let me go back. 179 bucks. Get out of here. And we need to look at power pole stuff. All right. That's another pixie kit. This one's a little bit less money, but hey. I don't know what this is right here, but I'm not going to click on it because it my mind is not going somewhere good with what it could be. Uh, let's see here. We got about 10 minutes left. I saw this, uh, you know, what is this? I mean, I know what it is. However, nine band waterproof bell in. Anybody have one of these, any experience with these? Let's see if there's any reviews. Let's see, 5 to 50. There's no, let's see the maximum power, please. 100 watts, 50 ohms. I got one of those linear amps, those little small linear amps, actually. $91 is expensive. Thanks, Don. 
See, I don't think you could find deals on Wish.com. That's what it comes down to. Let's take a look at our cart real quick. And, you know, um, I feel like we, we're going to remove that. Jesus, shipping is what gets you. Look at that, $50 shipping. So my $166 went to $229. Um, but this is what we got here. Is there any final, anybody else, any finals? What we'll do is here, let me move over to this screen real quick. What we'll do is uh, we'll do a we'll do a stream in the future where we do like LA Express and Banggood and all that stuff too. I'm going to check the Discord again real quick here. See if there's anything else that came in. I know Don had a couple of things. He's talking about some wire cutters. Uh, we'll get some wire cutters, Don. And let's see here. I feel like uh, I'm going to order those wire cutters. Let's see here. You know what, though? I think uh, too bad you can't order more than one piece to get like a bulk discount. That would be something like AliExpress. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. So now here's the final question, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't think I wasn't going to pull one on you, did you? Because I'm about to. Let's see what you guys think here. We got about 10 minutes left in the show, and my total comes out to 236 with shipping. I could buy all this garbage bullshit from Wish. <laughs> or... I'm going to leave it up to you all. So uh, a one in the – don't hit the one yet, please. One in the chat if you say I buy from Wish. A two in the chat if you say I take the money I was going to blow on Wish.com and I donate it to youth on the air right now. Let me know what you think. Two to donate, one to buy the Wish shit, and let's do it. Some buy buy some buyer's remorse. I gotta tell you, I uh, I've done this wish thing before. We've got a lot of twos in the chat already, so I think we're I think we know where we're going with this one. So uh, I donated last month as well. I think I donated two hundred bucks to to Youth on the Air. I um, just give back when I can, I suppose. Looks like we're not buying any cheap shit on Wish.com. Let's be real; none of it was going to be good anyway. Uh, uh, anime votes for fun. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll buy something off a of wish. <laughs> we'll unbox it whenever it arrives. All right, let's do this. Um, sure. Let me go ahead and just switch screens here real quick. What did I say that price was? Two thirty six ninety five. Please, not the batteries. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the kit. I think the kit's a good idea, anime. I do. Y'all got my address now. My bad. <laughs> Not like you couldn't look it up in the ULS, right? Boom. It's done. That is how we better amateur radio. And uh, we do what we can to help others out. And really donating to Youth on the Air is something that will continue to help and further promote the hobby. The hobby. I said it. Hobby. Hobby, hobby, hobby. And, um, you know, it's a better cost than us buying a bunch of shit on Wish. Let's be real. I do want to get that fiberglass pole. It's pretty cheap. Um, I want to thank, though. Hold on. We have we have five minutes left until Ham Nation. If there is a mod out there, you get a link and post it in the chat. Um, but I want to just give a quick shout out here because realistically, only half of that money came from me. Yeah, only half of that money came from me. I'm going to give a quick shout out to all my channel members, the people who pay every month to, to help support the channel and watch it grow. 
but uh, also they're the guys who are assisting with this. So for the last few months, I've actually just been donating their memberships to uh, charity or a good cause. Uh, so Dan, M0IDW, thanks, bud. And thanks for rejoining two days ago. t Ray's a new member as of five days ago. AG7SM, thanks a lot, Don. Thanks a lot. Filthy McNasty, what's on temporarily offline? Uh, Ham at VK2, Vern, Chris, KC3PIB, and he got his Christmas card in the mail today. If you haven't got your Christmas card yet in the mail, it'll be there within the next couple of weeks. Uh, Ham DeLorean Radio, thanks a lot, bud. Phil, I appreciate you. That's W0RHP. And then Ron, W4ORH. Steve, uh, N4SFC. Ed Sai, uh, Tim, W7WHN. Lee, W4LFH. Patrick, WM2A. Give a shout out to Lionel, KJ7OFH. Checking Greg, W Kirby, Ham World Online, Santiago. Uh, Christiana, I uh, hope you're doing well, by the way. And James Linden, Andy Colley, Steve, KZ. KO4, I always do it. KO4 AFL and then FEP Last Radio and WQ9F Kevin. Without you guys, uh, there wouldn't be that significant of a donation. It would have been half of it. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. <clears throat> and uh, this is going to be the link. Mike just posted it for Ham Nation. We got about four minutes. Anybody got anything they want to get off their chest? Uh, it's uh, it's an amnesty hour here. You can tell me anything you want. Nobody's going to know. I mean, the whole internet's not watching right now or anything. Thank you, Rosa. I appreciate it. And John, thanks a lot. Ham Nation. I, uh, I'll get on stream one of these days and just sing horrible, horrible songs if, if, if that makes you all happy. Whatever you guys want to see next week, let me know. I'm up for it. Um, I'll be back again in a second here. I'm in shorts. I was looking up metal detectors earlier on Wish. I really want a nice metal detector, though. Um, next week we're going to do the unboxing of my Goodwill finds, you know, we're going to, we're going to tear them apart and we're going to see all the Goodwill stuff that I found that's electronic related, radio related. Uh, I think I got a shortwave radio, a couple electronic kits, a CB radio. I hope this works. I'm going to try to make a contact with this. <laughs> And, uh, you know, other than that, guys, I hope everybody's having a good week. Tomorrow we have the FT8 off of my channel. I'll post a link later uh, in the Discord, followed by Saturday Morning Coffee and Ham Radios. Um, and, and and Anime does have a secret in Anime uh, uh, Amnesty Hour, and she says, it's not a secret. You are wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Got to get that metal detector. And uh, other than that, guys, I... Check out uh, Tech Minds for uh, for Laura. All right, we'll do that. I got one of those CVs at Goodwill. Still works. I think it was. It says seven ninety nine, but there's no way I paid seven ninety nine for it. It was probably one of those like fifty percent off days. So with that, guys, uh, I wish you all the best. You guys didn't get to see my flashing lights, but they will flash one of these days. I promise you that. Uh, I hope you have a good one. See you over at Ham Nation. Ham Nation. Wait, you have a I, I I'm still live actually. You have a gun shop and you sell metal detectors. I'm gonna have to look you up. <laughs> Take care, all.